guys, Mr. Zern here with uh, another vocabulary lesson for you. Today we've got two, and we're gonna be talking about uh, first user story. And so this is something I'm gonna to refer to constantly throughout the, uh, the semester, especially as we're working here in App Inventor. And the user story is basically this. So the app features, uh, you know, inside these apps that we're designing, that's the user story. So what app features do we need? All right. So user stories are the individual items that make up the whole solution or really make up the whole apps. And so when developers are designing these things, they make a plan for development that prioritizes and individually addresses each user story's needs. So uh, for example, probably many of you today are going to be starting uh, the digital doodle. And so what, you know, is the user story here? Well, we need the app to take a photo. All right. So that's, that's a user story there. Uh, once I've taken that picture, I'm, I need to be able to draw on it. So there's another user feature. Uh, I need to be able to change the color of that pen. So we're going to need some buttons or some ability to do that. I need to be able to change the brush size. So again, another feature so I can change the thickness of the brush. So is it going to be thin or is it going to be thick? And then finally, what if I want to, uh, you know, erase the screen? I don't like the drawing. So in a way to completely erase it. And then even again, can I take another photo? And so those are all part of the user story, like the features of it. And so, you know, when, when you sit down and, and design an app, like what app, what feature do we need to work on first? So like the priority uh, of that. And so probably like the very first feature that needs to happen is it needs to be able to take a picture. Okay. Because I like really, it's hard to do any of those other features or talk about those features or know if they're working, if, if I can't yet take a picture and, and work with that. And then once I take that picture, all right, what might be the next thing that I could do? Uh, that's really a priority. Well, probably drawing on the screen. So because before I can change the color of the brush uh, or even change the brush's thickness or thinness, I need to be able to draw on the screen. So probably the second one's going to be that. And then from there, you could, you know, you could maybe choose like, well, maybe I'd next like to add the ability to just erase the screen. So you could do that next, or maybe we're going to focus on the colors here. So sometimes it's very important to do them in a, a very specific order. And then sometimes certain ones can be done in, you know, in, in order of your choice. All right. So that's user story. So like basically what are the various app features, you know, in this, in this thing? Uh, the next one that I want to talk about here is user centered. And so we always have to think about the user uh, using this app. And, and it's easy as you build these apps, like you're going to know exactly what this button does because you coded it and you're going to know that, well, I need to click here and then click here. Uh, but very soon you're going to, we're going to have multiple text boxes with multiple buttons on the screen. And, and you just are, a lot of people just assume that the user knows that they should click in this text box first or click in that text box first. And so we need to make these things as easy and as simple to use for the user. So there is no confusion. And so, for example, instead of having two text boxes in the beginning, could we only have one text box so that, you know, you're really limiting the user's choice and it's very easy. Uh, if we need the user then click a button to somehow activate the things that we put in the text box, you know, how can we make it very obvious that you click this button? Can we label the button a certain way? Can we color the button a certain way? Could we eliminate other buttons, at least for the moment, so that they only have one choice, you know, of button to click on? And so, we, again, just sort of thinking about the user. And you can just, like, always joke that, like, just assume that your user is a complete and utter idiot and they're not going to know anything. And so you've got to make it as easy and as simple to do. And so that's sort of making it user centered. And often people might call that like user friendly. And so it's a very user centered app that the user is going to know without anything on how to use the, the app that we're working with. All right. So that's it for today. You probably want to write some of that down if you haven't or watch the video again, because you'll have another vocabulary quiz here uh, in the next couple of days. All right. I will talk to you guys later.